call from? Erica. An incarcerated individual at Logan Collectional Systems. Hey, Ma. Hey, are you done? Yeah, getting ready to, like, start. I think this is one of those stories. It's a mystery, and you desperately want to know what happened. In my spare time, I look for my missing daughter. Michelle, thought it looked like a piece of bone or two. I believe a crime has happened because my sister wouldn't just up and leave. It's a crazy story about a woman who escaped a terrible life. The big mystery here is, did she really go back or was she abducted? It was fake. Her face was so scared. I am scared. My adrenaline is racing. I don't know if we're part of a kidnapping heist. I'm pretty shaken up by the whole experience. There are thousands of other women that have gone missing, just like my sister. And nobody's talking about it, and nothing is being done about it. My mom was a convicted murderer, but she didn't kill anyone. Today could be the day my mom walks free. This story resonates with my Claire readers because it's a crazy and unfair example of women taking the fall or being implicated in a crime that a man committed. You couldn't make this up. I'm a little disturbed by the series of events. One day she simply vanished. Everything changed when we realized the murderers' disappearances, they were connected. Sometimes the legal system just gets it wrong. He had some sort of fixation with these high-powered women. I'm searching for answers on what happened to Bailey Deathbot. I just gotta find her. These are the kind of cases that keep our law enforcement on their toes.